This phone currently has Android 2.2, EF09 on it, or EB28, I'm not sure, ported from the transformer course. You could be running 2.1, as long as you have clockwork recovery, you're alright. And everything needs to be EXT4, which is easy. You just go to Advanced, and then File System Conversion. You click on it, it should say RFS up here, and you choose which one you want, and you hit this button, and it converts it. It backs everything up, it formats it, and then it writes everything, so you don't lose a thing. The instructions that I just said right there, you're going to do a factory reset. You need to put the kernel in the SDX slash zip folder, and you need to put the TARS that you're going to restore in the backups folder. fail on my part to place backups in SDX by themselves in no folder. I gotta go fix that. So I messed up and I had the backups in the backup folder and I shouldn't have. Backup restore, tar backup, tar restore. Do the system first. Oh, what happened? Home. What? Another fail on my part it says right there, do the restore plus format, which is what I did not do at first. Now go to tar restore plus format, data, home. The restore is complete. Now we're going to reboot the system. <laughs> Savage on the Samsung moment. Don't be hating on me because I'm happy about seeing a little robot and a spinning icon. Savage Mod 7. Haters. My brother just got the Nexus S, so this is his phone. Oh, it needs the Google add-ons package, I bet, unless it's included with the TAR. But he upgraded to the Nexus S 4G, and he wants me to put CyanogenMod 7 on it tomorrow. So guess what? I'm going to make a new video on how to install CyanogenMod 7 on the Nexus S 4G. And a guy at work has the HTC Evo Shift with 2.3, but they figured out an exploit to temper and force the bootloader to let you restore a 2.2 RUU. So that's what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to install a stable build of CM7 and make him have an awesome phone. So data is not working, I would assume. And if there is a way to get it working, I can't test it. Because I don't have service on this thing. It's picking up wireless networks. Connected. Camera's a piece of crap. Look at that. You can't see nothing up there. There you go. This <laughs> date's totally off. They edited the build.prop to show the M900. That's pretty cool. Now it has the battery percentage. Okay, so you can't overclock it. No big deal. Obviously, this is super alpha and not the actual Sanjimod team working on it. So some things work. The Wi-Fi, the SD card mounts, file manager, this will tell us. Yeah, there's everything on the SD card, so SD card does mount. Screen does rotate. Type SU, hit enter. Should ask for root. There we go. This is what would Josh do. And as this updates and gets better, I'll let you know. I have a playlist created specifically for the Samsung moment. And the newest videos will always be at the top. This is what would Josh do and I'm out.